Hey guys, it's Sirel RMD. Let's go ahead and jump into a lumbar spine MRI. When you talk about the different planes of imaging, we basically have three sets of images in the sagittal plane, or the long axis of the lumbar spine. We have one set of images in the axial plane, or the short axis of the lumbar spine. The first thing I do is I try to figure out whether an image is T1 weighted or T2 weighted. I basically look at the spinal cord and then look at the fluid surrounding the spinal cord. If it's high in signal, that's going to be my T2 weighted images. So that's true of this series here. That's also true of this series right here. Here I can see low signals around the cord, so I know that this is T1 weighted right here. Next I want to figure out, of the T2 weighted images, which one is fat suppressed? Very easy to do. I basically look at the subcutaneous fat. If that's low in signal, as it is on this series here, that's going to be my fat suppressed image. This is very useful for looking for any sort of fluid-based pathology, looking for any sort of acute injury. Basically, the brightest thing on the screen here is going to be fluid, so it's easy for my eye to kind of pick up that finding. So this is what I use for looking for any sort of acute injury. The T2-weighted non-fat suppressed set of images, this provides very good contrast between the different tissues that make up the lumbar spine. So I use this to kind of get a general overview of the lumbar spine anatomy. Lastly, I like the T1-weighted images to kind of evaluate the vertebral marrow. The marrow is high in signal due to fat, and you can see that it's higher in signal than the intervertebral discs. So basically that differential is lost when there's infiltration of the vertebral marrow, usually secondary to a tumor or a metastasis. Lastly, I have the axial set of images. These are T2 weighted because you can see fluid within the dural sac here. This is basically used to evaluate each intervertebral disc level, looking at the central canal and looking at the neural canals. All right, so there you go. That's a very basic overview of the different series involved in a lumbar spine MRI. Next, I'm going to be talking about the anatomy of a lumbar spine MRI. Thanks for watching. It's Strobe RMD.